Greetings, my fellow Sturgeons, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Mountain Blade 2 Bannalord, Episode 60, Early Retirement. Gimmo, you leveled up in throwing. I don't even know how, because I don't recall you having throwing weapons, but okay. Uh, you are sometimes a captain. Drawing speed or damage to shields. Let's go drawing speed. Do you think I should send troops? I will um, next time and just show you how many troops I lose as a result. It's why I'm fighting these manually, is when you auto-resolve, you end up just losing a lot of... Like, I, I, if, if, I'll put it this way, if I auto-resolve, I would likely lose some tier 6 uh, champion Drahiznics to Sea Raiders. Whereas if I fight it manually, that would never, ever, ever, ever happen. Because it's... The auto-resolve screws you, essentially. Wish it didn't, but it does. So here, like, I lost a single troop, and it was not even in my own. It was in Jarhead's army, and it was, a uh, Vanguard Volandian. Come on. Kimo, you better not drop your party here. There's the war party. Okay. A peace treaty with Sturgia was just proposed. 3,000. Nope. I'm not being paid off this time. I'm pissed. Oh, what? Looters join you? I'm going to wait so that the looters don't join. <laughs> there we go. Now let's do it. Every Seems awkward that like looters would join the conspiracy. That's a big old no thanks. It's quite challenging to even find an enemy in this. And that's it. Whoa! I can take the conspiracy commander. Interesting. It's the only prisoner I'm allowed to take. The others I can't take prisoner. But for whatever reason, the commander... What is he? He doesn't even have a tier. He looks like tier 6, but... He doesn't have a, a tier thing here. Interesting. I've never been able to do that before. Oh, I have some Batani. Oh, yeah, because I maxed out my party size. All right, back to Cranerog. The other kingdoms that I'm at war with, let's see what they want. Azurai wants me to pay tribute. Valandia wants me to... Oh, receive tribute. Sure. Pay me. 
Northern Empire wants me to pay, and of course, Sturgia was willing to pay, but I'm not, ta I'm ignoring it. There's work to be done. Dinky. Last I checked, you had 101 engineering. You're now up to 109. Not bad. What's interesting is these walls are still damaged from the last time I laid siege to them. They haven't even repaired yet. Oh, catapult. That sucks. Oh, there's Ragnarvite himself. Uh, I wish I knew where he was headed to. I would try to stop him. Traveling to Dinin. Got it. So with such, a, with such a pathetic force defending this thing, as soon as I take out the uh, catapults, I will take ladders up. Uh, here we go, lads. To the victor goes the spoils. I do find it slightly amusing with trebuchets firing as I'm trying to attack, so I'm going to leave them in position to fire and hope that they don't hit me, because sometimes they do, and, you know, it sucks. It's hilarious, but it sucks. Yeah! Oh, interesting. You can even see the, like, wall damage. That, like, weird, glitchy black area was, I think, where the wall had been damaged. It rendered a bit differently. Look at how I'm climbing this ladder. Pretty good balance, right? What, you're running? Don't do that. Anyone got a flashlight? What are, what are you guys doing? Come here. Whoa, good shot. <laughs> he let it loose on me and hit me in the head or in the neck. Unfortunately, my armor is super thick and it didn't hurt much. Unfortunately for him. Fortunately for me. Hope my troops are coming. Although I should be able to cut through this. I just don't like when they... There's like overlapping shields. Makes it really hard to make progress. Given the damage of my axe, you'd really think my axe would be able to break through their shields fairly effectively. I'm behind the horde. I'm not going to be able to find many other enemies, am I? Unless I take shortcuts. Good shortcut! Jumped over the rails. I know it's dark and it's hard to see. Unfortunately, it didn't really benefit me because this is such close quarter battle. I would need, like, a knight to be able to hit them. And the only person... No, nope, that's it. I did take damage 
through armor instead of shield breaker. You're right. Oh, nice garrison. I think I am going to spend a second cherry picking the surgeons I want to keep out of this garrison. Oh, Vladian sharpshooters. That's not bad. Okay, we are good. That leaves me with a little bit of space and a little bit of a garrison. So Cranorog is not completely undefended. And... Oh, right! It was totally done. So there's nothing to do. There's no improvements. It's top tier and ready to go. I did really want to get Mazadon. Um, the problem is now that the Northern Empire is attacking me, like, it's a little complicated to try to get territory next to where they are. So Cranorog... You're going to go to any of these. Nave, you're a good governor. I'll give it to you. So Dinin is over here. That's where Ragnvald was heading towards. What are they at war... Sturgey is at war with Vlandia. Okay, so he was going to the Vlandia in front. So here's Mazadon. And see if we can't get that too. Another thing that I could uh, hypothetically try to do is to try to find Roland. Let me check if Roland still doesn't have territory. No, he doesn't. And he was the one that got Karanarok Castle, and I just took it from him, so ouch. It's not great for a relationship. But he was last seen near Takur, so that's not that close. Takur is over towards um, Kuzait, for whatever reason. He's probably trying to recruit troops, I'd imagine. So this siege, oh Jesus! Uh, I'm gonna have to leave. Where are you headed? They are definitely going to Kranarag or something like that. Varchek. Oh, okay. I was right to leave. I've got 1,200 troops breathing down my neck. Do I have top tier equipment for my own stuff? No, actually, I don't. I don't have top tier shoulders, gloves, or boots. I haven't spent a lot of time shopping. Most of my loot, most of my gear is just inherited through raids and the like. And Penconox sieged for the nth time. So taking a look down here. Lennox Hen did get lost, but Aster and Remtoil has stuck around, and Penkanok has somehow has stuck around. I really don't understand how I haven't lost that yet, but any day now it probably will go. Now here's a quick question. Uh, should I pay off Northern Empire so I can focus on Sturgia? Yes or no? Give you two and a half minutes to vote on that. So the benefit of paying them off, uh, they don't need they don't need too much money. Eighteen hundred a day. Um, it would allow me to basically completely focus on Sturgia, take as much territory from them as possible. If not, um, I could. The problem is fighting like this. Our core's army is going to whittle down my own forces to the point where I'm going to be relatively battle ineffective for a bit. It's going to take me a while to get back up to full strength. Uh, so what's it worth more? A little bit of cash or my troops? That's sort of what it's come down to. And as far as cash goes, I have um, 424,000, so it's not like I can't afford it. And while you vote on that, there is a an arena fight. So I... <laughs> early retirement? Whoa, that's a tier 6 weapon? Holy crap! Let's get it. 
Hi, Tysado. Oh, you're trying to throw axes at me, are you? Cheeky. What if I'm a stationary target? Still didn't work. 2v2v2v2. Two 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 two. Yeah, the price was only 1800 So it's not... It's not too expensive. To be able to just pay them off and... Because Azurai is in the south, and they're not near any of my current territory, it's not like they're likely to be uh, a problem for me. Man, I am just... Oh, me versus Mino. Well, however this goes, we still get the weapon. No one even landed a hit on me. That's just sad. So even though I have been gearing up my own troops... Wow, that's a 17,000... Dinar blade. Wow. That is... So expensive. One-handed training time? I will lock it in. Yeah, I'm going to lock it in for now. And just keep it for myself. Alright, it does look like you guys want me to pay off um, Northern Empire so that they can just go away. And I can focus on Sturgia, so it is time to make peace with you guys. So I'm paying them considerable tribute, but... Well, we can always circle back to that. Um, keep garrison everybody. And then talk to Kimo. What a smile she has. Fill her completely all the way up with troops. And leave. That's a pretty good sized army I got. I have no one in my garrison in Varchag. Uh, I also have some prisoners in there. Oh, I have prisoners that I didn't get rid of. Uh, yeah, let me remedy that real quick. Before I take on new prisoners. None of my... Oh, see, here's a Sturgeon that wants to join me. The Conspiracy Commander wants to join me? I'm allowing it, because it's so weird. Let's take a look at him. Where Where is he? I can't even... He's not part of a tree. I have no idea. He, I don't pay him anything. He looks like a tier 6 troop who's basically free. Okay, whatever. I made him switch sides. He came to the dark side. <laughs> Kimo is still donating troops to the garrison, yeah. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, prisoners, right. So, keep, dungeon, prisoners. Oh, they're all nobles. Wow, it's just a lot of, look, look at that. There's so many prisoners in my, in my dungeon, but they're all noble people. Works for me. Uh, lock them in so I don't accidentally get rid of them. Good call. Seems very strange that I'm allowed to do that. It seems like a bug, if you ask me, because I'm not able to take any of the other, uh, any of the other um, conspiracy troops. Just that one. Hi there. You were rolling up on my Varcheg, weren't you? Surrender or die. And Roland is in this uh, in this force here. So remind me when I win, not if I win, but when I win, uh, to let Roland go. Because I don't want, uh, Archer, Archer, I don't want to screw soldiers, that up. Soldiers. Still trying to become friends with Roland so I can recruit him. Because I, I think, that, honestly, that is going to be really powerful. If I can get Roland, I like nearly double in potential size. Because he, he has such a large family. Insert the Alabama banjo twang. 
Uh, you know, there you are. Mounted archer, mounted archer. Okay, we're good. Oh, what? They start on a mountain? Everyone on my flank! Hippies! Archers! Everyone! Move! I have noticed that for whatever reason, these Sturgeon lords like to commit suicide, so I will ride out to help them. <sighs> Ouch! Dang! That. Never mind, I'm the suicide. That hurt. Oven. Oh, this one's rolling. Hi, Ro. See you later. And Mimir. Hey, this time Mimir's not just a talking head. Archers! A weird reference, but sure. Well, I don't think they're leaving their high ground. Something tells me that they're just going to happily sit up there. Loose for archers for one. This is Entry. honestly the most unfair Move. positioning Move. I've ever seen, ever. Move. Where it's like one team starts on Masada up here. And I'm down here like chicken poo. Good job, Roach. Ow. Yeah, not so well protected up here, are you? Oh. Oh, they only have 16 bowmen. That's the real weakness. I have 56. Archers! So even though they have the high ground, they can't move! use it. Hoodman! Move! Soldier! Move! So I'm going to slowly put my archers into position for maximum effect. Are any of you lords or ladies? You aren't. You're like a cataphract. You are. Yo, what? Yo, what? Excuse me? Get back here. Wasn't done with our conversation. This is rude. Lady, this, oh, no, never mind. No more talking for you. What about these guys? Just Drew Hisnicks? Yeah. This terrain is no, Jesus. I'm a little worried that I'm just like gonna go off a cliff and die due to gravity. Look at all you, like, blue lobies. <laughs> hey, Sturgia, I bet you uh, wish Infantry! you had some ranged units, don't you? Forward! Forward! Formal archers! Move! They're just fleeing up the mountain. They're hilarious. They have ten archers left. Are they going to commit? Oh, I think they're committing. Oh, don't throw at me. All those low-level troops just threw one rock at me. I'd be dead in a heartbeat. And now they have two archers left. Oops, sorry horse. I <laughs> didn't mean to do that. If they don't want to commit to the charge because they're holding high ground and they think that that somehow makes them better, that's cool. Like, I don't mind giving my archers just a... A free-for-all murder frenzy. 
That's totally, totally okay with me. Troops, forward! I'll just get my horses in position. It looks like this army, honestly, is just a bunch of lobies. All those blue shirts, they should be red shirts. Nah, they're committing now. And ensuing slaughter below. I don't know where their respawn point is, but I do know that those low head, low head, low level troops are just gonna get massacred. Oh, they just reinforced where they are. Okay, it's time for me to cut some face. Now that isn't slang. It's literal. Actually, they got reinforced by higher level guys. A lot of those guys in there are like tier four. And they've been hurting me good, so I'm going to back up. Uh-oh. Friendly fire. My archers got. After me, everyone, move My archers got massacred move from that, unfortunately. Soldiers, forward, footmen, Fox soldier, move. I'm gonna regroup because we're sitting inside the respawn, and that hurts. My troops are having a hard time disengaging, though. Alright, there we go. We're far enough away from the respawn. I think it's fine. No, you don't. Get out of here with your arrows. Hey! Thanks for the, uh, the resub. It's been a while since I've seen you in these parts. Hope it's been going well. Oh, yeah, here's the respawn cloud. I do think that they're suffering from morale shock and they're starting to flee, though. So I don't think I need to back up and regroup again. Everyone, attack! That was a lot of them, though. My Drahiznics are not going to be happy about fighting on this nasty terrain. Only two arrows left. Well, this is ill-advised. But I can't help it. I think they're all fleeing now. This is all wrapped up. Is the GI Bill paying for your schooling, Apollius? I'd imagine. I hope so. All right, Roland, you're free. 46. That's a good relationship that I've built. Wow, I can take a lot of prisoners.
Emmett or Chief got bow skills. Let's give you Bodkin for armor piercing. And Tinky got bow skills as well. There is a small army building up, Rosaval's army. But I'm going to get back to Varchag. Because I have too many people, too many prisoners on me at the moment. Oh, and Aquedox finished building. Nice. Well, uh, it's just about the most full I've ever had a dungeon full of nobles. This is like the entire cast of Game of Thrones all in my dungeon. The alternative ending to the Red Wedding. And prison them all! And they don't have enough money to take the gear here. Sorry, town that I own. <laughs> I'm going to bleed you dry of all your food. The reason being is the, the food in my army was running a little low, so I might as well max my food out. Uh, another thing I just noticed is this conspiracy commander definitely came off lock. I locked him and he just unlocked himself. He's like, oh, I'm free to go, right? No, dude, you're not. Maybe I'll just give him to... Okay, he's back on lock again. I don't know what's going on. Ah, school for uh, MOS change. Got it. So taking a look at the kingdoms. Sergio still wants to pay me, but not that much. I definitely haven't done the damage that I want to do, though. So Rosaval's army is running for me. Part of me feels like I should chase them. Oh, yeah. He's about to get reinforced by everybody. Is Roland in here? So all these people are, I am sure, rallying to Rosaval's army. So if I can conquer this army before they get there, I disband the army. So it's it's worth fighting. And I cannot catch a break. It is a constant siege of troops and no castle taking. Bowman! Infantry! Forward! Soldiers! Scat troop! Move! I don't see any suiciders in this Sturgeon troop formation. None of them trying to ride out to be a hero. Some gulam, though. Ow. He's he's a he's a vassal. I think these are some of these guys are um, mercenaries that they hired to try to help to deal with me, I guess. So knowing that Sturgia has absolutely garbage bowmen, I will try to use that to my advantage and just let my bows wreak havoc on them. Infantry! Form a seal wall! Because I have been promoting my troops to bow way more than they're producing. They're doing? Forward! Archers! Okay, here we go. Forward! Loose formation! Troops! Move! I like their formation. I'm trying to draw them off their hill. Oh, you're another merc. What about you? Nope, just a Drew. 
Molab of the Gillum. That looks like Lashenek. No, that's Razaval. Was Razaval. I am tickled that their troops are not protecting their captains at all. I've pillaged their army. Took out everyone in charge at this point. And no one stopped me. <laughs> I'm just sitting back here murdering them systematically. While they slow march to their doom. Oh, double swing! I saw that and I wasn't able to, uh... You know what? That's personal. Just an unnamed Britannian horseman, but he's dead. <laughs> I held a bit of a grudge. It was a really good... It was a good couched attack that he landed on me, and, uh... He doesn't get to tell the tale of how he landed a clean hit. I think this was a well-fought fight. And here comes the reinforcements, but they're outnumbered and overwhelmed. No problem at all. I'm having a hard time singling out targets I can even shoot at without... Oops. I find one at the edge of the battle that I think is still... Yep. I should just put the bow away. I'm just hurting my own people. There we go. Finally, a clean kill. Rest in peace, Roswell. Yeah, the corpses that were on the hilltop did look like porcupine. Knowing Sturgia's weakness is going to make it really easy for me to win Sturgian fights, because they just don't have bowmen. It's one of the reasons why, in the campaign mode, like this, Sturgia very rarely dominates the men. They're pretty, they're very good at um, castle sieges, because uh, once they're up on the walls, they're pretty nasty. But until then, out in open... Out in the open fields, they're basically garbage. And they get captured accordingly. So there we go. There goes that counter army. I don't know where all these nobles are going. Oh, they're following Ragnvad's party. So Ragn... Oh, here's Ragnvad's party. Uh, they just got bigger than me. And I am wounded. Okay, so I'm wounded, but this is Ragnvad. All right, here we go. They, yeah, they do pretty considerably outnumber me. I gotta be careful. So I gotta play this one smart. Soldiers! Can't just go rushing in this time. I don't have the, uh, the blood for that. So arrows here in loose. Because they attacked me, I suspect that I can play defensively and they will run to me. So, footmen. Shield wall. My horses are going to be really important because they're my shock troops. And without them, uh, definitely not going to win. So, I have to use them wise. Yeah. Why are they moving? Oh, they're moving further into position. Archers! Move! Infantry! Forward! Soldiers! Follow me! 
So given how wounded I am, I'm going to have to be really careful. But these are their captains, so it really does serve me well to try to eliminate them quickly. But I'm not going to play hero here. I'm trying to have my, um, my units do it for me. I do like the position we've taken, though. Soldiers, move! Got the hilltop. Oh, that's Ragnarok! Oh boy, I need this. Oh yes, eat an arrow. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. Eat an arrow. That was a good shot, too. It was like a strafing, distant. He was riding fast. We're a little weak here, but our reinforcements are closer to the battle than their reinforcements. And I definitely have the horse advantage here. Yeah, here we go. Here, we go. here comes the horses. Ah, someone just hit me. How are they behind me? That makes no sense. The AI flanking now, I think they just like passed through one another in a weird sort of maneuver. I don't think it was intentional. They didn't mean to flank, they just ended up there. Oh, jeez. Sorry, horse. Oh, this is, uh, Svana. Bye, Svana. Watching my horsemen cut them down was, I don't know, a little fun. Alright, I'm getting back in position here to limit my casualties to a minimum. In the head. Alright, now that we're regrouped, charge again, we should be good. Oh crap, I just team killed. Shot one of my Drew units in the head. All right, I am losing position here. Everyone, move! I'm gonna have everyone. Well, actually. Keep attacking. I don't want them to reset because they'll take damage as they try to regroup. Oh, 
Best thing I can do at this point is try to... Uh, hey, Zero, thanks for Risa. Try to whittle down their uh, horsemen so they don't have a cavalry advantage. Because it is coming down to a tight fight here. As we were outnumbered, almost 300 more men than... Or by like 30-ish percent. They have a lot of disorganized units kind of in the... Ah, uh, no! I don't want to be stopped. In the backfield here. And my units are staying pretty tight. Which is, uh, definitely advantage me. I think they're thinking about fleeing now. At this point, I could be reckless because I think we've won this. I don't see them regrouping from this now. Actually, they have 119 uh, spearmen over there. You know what? My infantry. I can't have them back up. The archers I can line up, though. Shouldn't be back here. Oh, and I learned my lesson. Took a uh, arrow to the head. Well, we outnumber them, but not by much. So this is going to be one dirty victory. Have we taken any new uh, Sturgeon holdings? We have. Just one castle, though. There it is. Ragnvad downed. Downed by my own arrow. Svedorn, Erta, Svana, Asta, Raganrad, Tobir. Whoa. Wait, for real? I have space for all the... No, I don't. No, I don't. Get real. I only have space for 27... Out of three, <laughs> I'm leaving 330 behind. That's how it has to be. All right, I'm also over encumbered. It is time to, at high speed, limp back to Varchig. Because I have a whopping force of 71 at the moment. I mean, they're healing, but still. I basically hedged everything in that. And I do think I came up ahead. But, um... Uh, ooh. Hey, Serepides, that clan, uh, he died of old age. So that clan that I wanted to recruit is gone now. Oh, no. That's Satras. Never mind. It's a different clan. But yeah, a, blo a clan just died. So someone asked earlier if clans could die off. And I guess if... You don't have kids and you die old age. Yes. Alright. I have... 41 noblemen in my castle. 
Dude, I got a whole football team now. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Barchag doesn't have the money for the armor that I have, so I'll stick it into storage. Okay, the Conspiracy Commander is still unlocked, so it just came unlocked once, ever. Don't know what that's about, but seems fine. Just sniping some of the Sturgeons from them, from her that I wanted. And... I have 39 of... <laughs> oh my lord! What is going on? Prisoners capture. Who is even free? Honestly. How do you even have forces left? But uh, yeah, this is, friends, where I'm going to have to leave off. Having completely whooped Sturgia like they've never received a whooping, but unfortunately only been up Cranorog. I haven't really had the opportunity to go capture territory. Just build my own little Sturgian party house. Oh, hold on. Actually, before I end this, I want to enter the dungeon and see what the hell it looks like. <laughs> I'm, I need to go down there. Oh man, this is, this is stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> they don't even fit. It's just the horde. Hi guys. This is, uh, you know, some CIA enhanced interrogation techniques man look, look at that look. <laughs> okay yep well sorry Sturgia but you have one weird family reunion in my dungeon <laughs> it's my little black site it's my Guantanamo <laughs> alright guys yeah that is all the time I have Thank you for tuning in to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 28th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you to support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Stay safe out there, my fellow Sturgeons.